Absolutely. You know what? I was looking at the National Weather Service forecast discussion a few minutes ago, and their whole synopsis for the weather right now is just high pressure sticks around until Wednesday. And you got to love a simple forecast like that because it means we are in for a few beautiful days. A beautiful afternoon today, warm and dry through midweek. By later in the week, some more unsettled weather moves in by about Thursday, and we could see some thunderstorms Thursday and Friday with a few more showers into the weekend as well. So here's a look at our Piedmont Triad day. Temperatures in the upper 70s this afternoon, very warm, very sunny, and very dry. Exactly what we like to see to start off a work week, right? At by 6 p.m., if you don't have the day off today, you'll still have some great weather outside. So I highly recommend going out for that walk, run, or jog after uh, work and before sunrise. And if you wanted to grill out, a great day to do that. By 9 p.m., still really nice. Temperatures in the mid 60s. The foothills looking nice as well. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Looks like 75 degrees will be are high in that location by 9 p.m. still very mild in the mid 60s there and in the mountains a gorgeous mountain day so if you do have the day off and you really weren't sure what to do with it I highly recommend going for a hike as we're getting into the later part of the day we have 64 degrees for dinner time so uh, maybe still an opportunity there to have dinner outside winds will stay on the calmer side we'll have a breeze here and there but nothing gusty and then as we get into 9 p.m. still very nice now we're in the season of roller coaster temperatures, but I gotta say this is probably the biggest kitty coaster of a roller coaster week that we could have in the spring because our whole range for this whole week is about 10 degrees in either direction. So our coldest on the seven day forecast is 70 degrees, our warmest is 80. I gotta tell you the long range forecast is not so pleasant, so enjoy it while it sticks around here. The only problem is that those warmer temperatures by Thursday as some unsettled weather moves in could result in a few thunderstorms. Of course, we know that this time of year, all of that extra warmth acts as fuel for storms and causes the potential for some severe storms. So here's a look at our extended range hour by hour forecast. As we get to Thursday, about half of our area sees some rain and some of these, some of this rain could be some thunderstorms maybe on the stronger side, but thankfully the timing right now is really limiting that because it looks like it'll be later in the day. Friday, a higher rain chance and some thunderstorms possible as well. And as we head into the weekend, while we still do have some rain and showers, less thunderstorm activity, but definitely uh, some soggy days. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. The weekend is also where we see our coolest temperatures, but they're still in the mid to low 70s, so hard to complain about that. Our overnight lows are also pretty mild. 50 degrees tomorrow morning is the coldest that we see on the seven day forecast, so that's still very mild. We're definitely in layer season for sure, but hard to complain about the next few days, and of course, good time to get ready for more thunderstorms headed our way. Okay.